Hi guys and welcome back to the Family Fudge and welcome to another week of school lunch inspiration. This time with a Valentine's Day twist. Okay guys, now I know you can probably tell that I really love making these fun lunches, but I really love making holiday themed lunches the most. So I'm super excited for Valentine's Day. And I'm also super excited this week because I'm collabing with another awesome YouTube mom, Tiffany, over at the channel Life as Five. Now she's also gonna be sharing some Valentine's Day ideas, but she's sharing breakfast ideas. So definitely check her out. I will link her video down below. Now on to my favorite part of the week, which is the weekly shout out. This week it's going to Jenny for leaving us our first comment on last week's video. So thank you, Jenny. And good name, by the way. Now next week I'm actually planning on doing two shout outs. One for the first person who comments on this video and one for the first person that comments on my Instagram post about this video. So make sure to go follow me on Instagram. I post lots of fun pictures there. Now let's get started. Good morning guys and happy Monday. Today is the first day of Valentine's Day themed lunches and they came out so cute. Right now I have Mackenzie and Jackson and Lily here helping me say hi. 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 So what do you think guys, does it look cool? Yeah. To make this really cute, I started off by adding a napkin. I just folded it up and put it in the bottom of the largest section. And then I also took some cupcake liners, turned them inside out, and added them to my smaller compartments. This is a really easy way to make it look fun and festive. It's not expensive to do, and it makes cleaning up the lunch boxes afterwards a lot easier. Next, I went ahead and made our really fun PB&Js, because after all, Monday is what? PB&J day. That's right, so I took some bread and I used my larger heart-shaped cutter to cut out the bread first. And then to half of the bread, I went ahead and did a smaller heart-shaped cookie cutter as well. So you can have a little peekaboo window, just like that. So I went ahead and just put some peanut butter and some jam. I'm still using the sugar plum jam from Christmas. It's really very tasty. After that, I added a few strawberries. I went ahead and left them whole today just so it would be easy. But I did go ahead and put a cute little pick in there just for fun. And then over on this corner, I have some carrots. I actually have a purple carrot, an orange carrot, and a yellow carrot. And went ahead and just cut them into the shape of a heart. Well, I tried my best to make them look like hearts. But it was kind of dangerous, so kids, do not try this at home. That's definitely something for parents to do. Over here I'm also including a really fun yogurt drink. I know the kids are going to love these, especially when they get to drink them with these heart-shaped silly straws. I found these at Walmart and I got a big pack for just a couple of dollars. So I have my ice pack in there to keep the yogurt nice and cold. I'm gonna go ahead and put my silly straws down in there as well. I have a few other things. In these cute little bags I have a little bit of this popcorn. This is kind of like pirate booty, but it's the Trader Joe's version. So I have this one. And then in Lily's, I just put a little bit less. And there's also a treat today. I have one single Valentine's Day Hershey Kiss. So that's going to go right down in the corner. So right now I'm going to go ahead and get my lids on and then we'll head out the door. What do you guys think today? It looks cool. It looks fun. And we'll see you when we get back. Okay guys, we're back home now and I had a chance to peek at these when I was unzipping them and you'll probably be shocked. Right now I have Mackenzie, Jackson, and Lily with me so they have some explaining to do. But I think we'll start with Kenzie's because I know Kenzie, she did a good job. Yeah. Right? You ate just about, oh you, ate, you did eat everything. These are just some strawberry tops, you don't eat those. Now for Jackson's. Well. Jackson ate his yogurt, or he drank his yogurt, but we have a lot of sandwich left. He only ate one carrot, and he is finishing his strawberry right now. So it wasn't your favorite, or you're just not hungry today? I wasn't very hungry today. Well, let's check Lily's. First off, I can see that she still has some pirate booty, and that's okay, she can eat that later, <laughs> but... She didn't eat much at all. Maybe one or two little bites here, and I can totally tell that she stuck her finger in the middle. Did you stick your finger in your yeah. peanut butter? Well, she didn't eat any carrots, and she didn't eat any strawberries. What was the problem, Lily? Mm, I was full. 
I didn't expect her to eat this whole sandwich, but I did expect her to eat more than just one bite. So that means she didn't get to have her Hershey Kiss little treat. But she did drink her yogurt, so I could think it's, she at least had something. So overall today, not the best, but we can try again tomorrow. And we'll see you on Tuesday. Hi guys, and welcome to Tuesday. Today's lunch is super cute and nut free. That's important today. I started off by making some chicken bacon ranch wraps. Just like that, I took a big tortilla, added some ranch flavored cream cheese. I added some rotisserie chicken slices, some crumbled bacon, and a little bit of spinach, not too much. And then I went ahead and rolled that up and put a cute little heart pick in there. I'm also sending a little napkin underneath there, one yogurt tube, and then I have some really fun grapes, which I cut into the shape of a heart and I added a little pick. It's really easy to do this, just takes a few minutes. I'm also sending some cherry tomatoes today, and we have a very special drink. This is a little fruit punch, but I'm going to send it with this really fun heart silly straw that I found at Walmart. So hopefully the kids can poke it through here. We shall see. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that in there. I've got my ice packs already, and just for fun, I will put in a little Valentine's Day treat. Oops which is this little tiny Hershey Kiss, just right in there. And that is everything. I'm gonna go ahead and fill up their water bottles and then we will head out the door. Okay guys, it is almost bedtime and we're just getting around to checking the lunches. Right now I have Mackenzie and Lily and Jackson with me. Hi. 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 So first I'll go ahead and check Mackenzie's. Today we are using the Ziploc um, lunch boxes. I really like these two. I like a lot of different kinds of lunch boxes. I don't have an absolute favorite. They're all pretty good. It looks like you ate everything. Uh-huh. Was it really good? Yeah. But you liked your lunch? What was your favorite part? I liked the roll-ups. The roll-ups with the bacon? Yeah. I think anything with bacon's good, right? Yeah. Okay, let's check Jackson's. Jackson, you ate everything too. Let's see how Lily did. Oh, you drank all your juice. Your sandwiches are gone? Mm -hmm. Did you eat everything? Mm -hmm. By yourself or did you share? I shared with Griffin. You shared with Griffin, yeah. And we'll see you tomorrow. Good afternoon, friends, and welcome to Wednesday. I have Mackenzie here helping me. Hi. I think today's lunch came out so cute. What do you think, Mackenzie? Yeah, it does look so cute. So I started off by making these really fun little vegetable skewers. I took a cucumber and I used my tiny little heart-shaped cutter to cut them out. And then I alternated cucumber, tomato, cucumber, and tomato. And to go along with that, I'm also giving the kids some homemade ranch in this little cup right there. Now today I'm also giving the kids some pirate booty right over here. That's like a cheddar popcorn type snack. And we have some treats. These are cute little Valentine's Day cookies. I got them pre-made from Walmart and they're actually really tasty. So they each have two of those. And then I made the really special grilled cheese. I started by cutting out my bread. Then I actually spread a little bit of pesto on the bread. This gives it such a good flavor. For the cheese, I used one slice of cheddar and one slice of Havarti. So lots of cheese go into these grilled cheese sandwiches. And lastly, I'm also giving the kids one of these apple juices with this cute little heart-shaped silly straw. Are you guys hungry? Yeah! Now I am gonna be making Griffin's lunch as well with elements that are similar, just in bite-sized pieces. And I am planning to make a separate video on what he eats, so keep watching for that video. Okay, here you go. Thank you. Here you go. Make sure you eat your cucumbers before you eat your cookies, okay? Okay. Okay guys, lunchtime is over, and as you can tell, they did really well today. Mackenzie ate everything, so did Jackson. Lily left just one little cucumber and her pirate booty popcorn stuff. What did you like, Mackenzie? I like the sandwich. That was your favorite? Yeah. Yeah, I love pesto in a grilled cheese. It is so good. Yeah. And we will see you tomorrow. Good morning, guys, and welcome to Thursday. Today's lunch came out super cute. I know the kids are going to love it. So today's lunch is inspired by a Lunchable. Have you guys seen the Lunchables where the kids can actually make their own pizza? This is kind of the same idea. So for our pizza crust today, I started with a pita bread, and I actually used a heart-shaped cookie cutter to cut them out. 
Now for the older kids, I'm putting two little pizza crusts in there, and for Lily, just one. And just for fun, I put a little heart pick in there to make it cute. Over in this corner, I went ahead and put some shredded mozzarella cheese, and then we have the pepperoni. Now I did go ahead and put some little googly eyes in the little stack just to make it fun. I just took some of this uncured pepperoni and I used my heart-shaped cookie cutter to cut them out. Now to go along with this, I'm also serving some berry applesauce. This is the kind from Trader Joe's. It's very tasty. And to make it fun, I just added a few little stickers on there. Very easy to make it cute. Right here we have the pizza sauce. I went ahead and just used my regular pizza sauce. I put a couple of spoonfuls in each little container because the kids don't need a lot. That way they can just go ahead and open this up and squeeze it on their crust. Now over in this corner, I have a little container with something I know the kids are going to love. I have some Valentine's Day gummies, like fruit snacks, and I found these at Trader Joe's. And normally I'm not a big fan of fruit snacks, even though my kids love them, but I have to tell you, these ones are really cute and they're actually really tasty. So I just gave them a couple right in there. And then for an extra snack today, I did go ahead and send them with some of these pea crisps. These are just like a baked green pea snack. They're actually really tasty. And I get these at Trader Joe's as well. So we just have a few in there, not a lot. So that is everything in the lunch today. I'm gonna go ahead and get my lids on. I'll put my ice pack in there. I gotta round up the kids' water bottles and then we will head out the door. We're back home now and here's what we ate. That's right, we're gonna go ahead and start with Mackenzie's here. I see that she has a few snap peas left, but that's okay. These are still good, you wanna eat these now? Yeah. Okay, let's check in here. So what do you think of lunch today, Mackenzie? It was really, really yeah. good. Yeah, you like making your own pizza? Yeah. I see that you have quite a bit of cheese left though. Next yeah. time, put extra cheese on your pizza and use it all. Okay. But everything else was good? Yeah. And you used all of your sauce and not surprising, the fruit snacks are all gone. Those were good, huh? Mm -hmm. Okay, now let's check Jackson's. How'd it go, Jack? Good. Was it really good? Okay, let's see here. I see that you ate all of your snap peas and everything else. There's just a tiny bit of cheese left in there, but overall, really good job. What was your favorite part, Jack? All the gummies and the pizza. The gummies and the pizza. Should I make those pizza ones again? Yeah. Yeah? All right, now Lily's turn. Hi. So I can see that she also has a few snap peas left, but she could eat those later. She did eat all of her fruit snacks. And let's see, her sauce is gone. And in here, she ate it too. There's just a little bit of cheese left in there. Good job, Lily. Thank you. And we'll see you on Friday. Hi guys, and welcome to Friday. Today is the last day of Valentine's Day lunches, and I definitely saved one of my favorites for last. I think it came out really cute. Now since this is sort of a DIY Lunchable, I started by cutting the cheese. Today I used a combination of Havarti and cheddar, and I used my little heart-shaped cutter to make them cute. Next, I took some salami and rolled it up, and added it to a cute little heart pick. To this, I added a few crackers, and in this corner, I added a little cookie. These are the mini sugar heart cookies from Trader Joe's. They're very crispy. Now over in this back corner, I went ahead and added some vanilla Greek yogurt. Just a couple of spoonfuls in each lunch box. And so far, I haven't had any issues with these lunch boxes leaking. Now in this last box over here, I have a tiny little apple. So I started with one red apple and I used my mini heart cutter to take some of the pieces out. I also cut some hearts out of each of the smaller yellow apples. And then I just swapped the pieces. Now I do have some leftover red apple and I will definitely snack on that later. Now to go along with these lunches today, I'm also including a fun snack. These are perfectly pink for Valentine's Day. These are the apple and strawberry fruit bars from Trader Joe's. And it's basically just apples and strawberries, nothing else in there. And I think since I have enough sweet treats in the lunch today, I'll go ahead and just send them with some water. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my lids on. I definitely wanna include a spoon today for the yogurt and an ice pack to keep the meat and the yogurt nice and cool. And of course, when we get home, I will show you what they ate. Lunch is over now and here's what we ate. 
These guys did really well today. Mackenzie ate everything. Was it good? Yeah. What was your favorite part? I like the cookies. The cookies, these little heart cookies? Yeah. Those are good and they're not too sweet. And then here's Jackson's. He did okay. There's a couple of slices of salami left and a couple of crackers, but everything else he did really well. And then Lily, I'm like shocked. Lily, you did such a good job. Do you like it? Yeah. What was your favorite part? Uh, cookies, apple, salami, yogurt. You liked almost everything? That's yeah. great. And we'll see you next week. Thanks for watching. Okay guys, now let me know in the comments down below, out of all the lunches this week, which one was your favorite? Also, if you have any suggestions of what you'd like to see me make, leave them down below because I'm definitely looking for more lunch ideas. Now don't forget to go check out Tiffany's channel over at Life As Five. I will link it down below. And I hope to see you next week when I share my Valentine's Day breakfast as well. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.